Welcome to Center of Balance Live. I'm Sinan Pua from Center of Balance, the acupuncturist. I'm just checking that all my platforms is up and going. Um, okay, YouTube is pretty okay. Now today our topic is pregnancy and PCOS. Okay, all good. Now this is a live, so when we in live, um, when I see my friend up in here, we'll say hello and to everyone, and I want you to say hello to me as well. Now if you see this live video, even though you uh, replay this, you know, watch it after when, after the live, and please leave some comment down there and let me know what you think about this. Okay. Um. So, hi. Uh, Hello, uh, Chai Nishicha, Medicine. Um, I can only see your, uh, I'm not quite sure your name, but on Insta Instagram. Thank you for saying hello to me. Okay. Now, our topic today is pregnancy and PCOS. So every, every day, every day, every morning, and here, I'm in New Zealand, and I'm gonna call uh, go live with you. Uh, hi, Venorica. Thank you. I'm I'm very good th today. Thank you. Um, so, if you are on live, hi Eric. How are you? Please say hello to me and then uh, give me a thumbs up and share this live video as well. If you're on Facebook and Instagram, thank you very much. If you're on uh, YouTube, please. Uh, Take the link uh, and share on your um, social media after this live video. Thank you very much. Okay, let's start. Now today our main topic is about pregnancy and PCOS. So I'm pretty sure that um, if you're a practitioner, uh, you know um, when we see more uh, the chance that we get to contact uh, and see a PCOS patient is uh, more chance that when you, when you see the uh, uh, fertility patient because this is the one of the main reason that they come to you because they felt very difficult to get conceived right. um, then I don't know whether you know about it is but seven to and eighty percent of women with PCOS have fertility problem. Yeah, that's pretty high though. That's pretty high. Um which means that is twenty to thirty percent uh of women with PCOS they have no problem conceiving baby right. so I do have this experience right. and patient come to me and they say they put down a PCOS and then what happened is you, you look at the patient they overweight they have extra go here the here girl and here and the tummy and they probably have acne as well and uh, but the period is pretty regular or some of them may miss one or two months but they never have problem with conceiving a baby they, they do though you do see in this patient in, in your clinic you know if you see fertility patient then I asked them well you've been diagnosed with PCOS but um, do you have any kids? I said, yeah, two or three or four, you know. And have you ever had um, difficulty uh, conceiving a baby? I said, no, it does happen for them, you see. So they have no problem conceiving baby. Yeah, so. 
Yes, PCOS is one of the major reason for infertility. It has about seven to eighty percent. But if you just you know because patients come to see you because they have fertility infertility problem, but we didn't actually realize. They are patient with PCOS. They have no problem conceiving mm. because we never see them. <laughs> they are not coming in for uh, PCOS just because I want to treat my. I'll tell you, for those ch 20 to 80 percent of uh, patient, they're happily living in their life, and they never sick. Uh, they never look for treatment for PCOS there are a lot of people like this they never get treatment you know and the time they come in for treatment is for other problems for other, uh, back pain, neck pain you know and they are not coming for all because I have a period irregular period and I want to get my period regular and it's so funny that um, if you're in pain, you want to get treatment. But if you, you if your pain, if your period is irregular, you never thought about getting treatment for it. You know, um, you only want to get treatment for your period when you want to get pregnant. Does it make sense? This is how I feel, you know, it's how I feel in my clinic when I see patients. Not many people want to come in and just work um, in my current practice, okay. But in China, uh, when I was in China and the mom would take the daughter, the cat, take it in and say, well, I period is not regular, I want my daughter to take some herbs and that is quite a lot but not in here you know I rarely get patients to come in and say well my, my period is irregular and I want some treatment you know but in China that it's common that the mom take the daughter come in and say um, my daughter is uh, period is irregular, you know, something like that. Yeah, it's a funny thing. Yeah, right. Um, now, PCOS, the first, if you suffer from PCOS, it's difficult to get pregnant. That's the first one. That is because your period is irregular, you have high um, level of endogen the male hormone then when you have high male hormone your female hormone is less then you are not um, ovulation every month or your ovulation in a different time that is why it causes difficulty in fertility um, the next thing is uh, if you have PCOS the conditions then it actually also increase the risk of pregnancy complication so we talked about before if you suffer from PCOS you put on weight and is a high risk for what? Um, it's very high risk for um, metabolic symptom. So let me remind you again: what's metabolic symptoms? High blood pressure, high blood sugar, high cholesterol. Right. Now. If you 
suffer from PCOS, then you got pregnant. That is good, right? First step that is good. But while you're pregnant, you know, and it may cause high blood pressure due to PCOS. It may cause high blood sugar. So it may lead to pregnancy high blood pressure or pregnancy high blood sugar. Okay. So the diabetes problem. So if you suffer from PCOS, you got pregnant, that's great. But watch what you eat is very very important. Okay. You don't want to end up with um, blood pressure issue or blood sugar issues. Okay. And it also think about if you have a blood um, sugar and blood uh, uh, high blood uh, cholesterol, high cholesterol issues in your blood. That means your blood is thicker. So the blood flow is slower. When the blood flow is slower, the circulation is not as good. That would cause not enough blood flow into the uterus to nourish the baby, to su supply blood flow into the uterus. Then that may cause miscarriage. Right. So, does it make sense to you? Right. So, PCOS is risk, very high risk for miscarriage, high blood pressure, and diabetes while you're pregnant. So, um, when it comes to treatment, we're going to talk about tomorrow what diet well, and lifestyle tips uh, to treat PCOS. So, you don't wait until you get your or you got pregnant and start to watch your diet. You, know? you start to watch your diet before pregnancy while you're preparing for pregnant because PCO is through, through a, a changing diet it can help PCO is symptoms a lot a lot okay it's not easy but it's very simple simple to follow the diet simple to do the extra thing rather than just relying on treatment because I've seen a lot that patient change the diet they do it themselves they, they ask Dr. Google and a lot of real cases up on online and they follow the diet and then before they come to me they lost weight already and the period become much normal and they really get the benefit and exercise of course it would help and when this happened they still come to us because they want to get pregnant and they got better they got a lot of benefit they can tell the difference since the change of diet okay. so again when it comes to PCOS you're not relying on just acupuncture or Chinese herb you're not relying on um, hormone therapy no. but unfortunately things that I see in my clinic patients that I see in my clinic when they been to fertility expert hi Max how are you and they never mention about life changing the lifestyle in diet you see, this is this is something that I always feel. You know, I always felt, hmm, why didn't they tell the patient 
you just tell the patient to go for IVF. It seems that it's not the job, the job to tell the patient changing lifestyle or change the diet. They don't give these things. Of course, they may think that this is may, this may a, maybe a nutritionist expert, so they don't tell patient at all, at all. I asked my patient literally. Asked them whether you have been to um, fertility associate. Uh, you've been to um, um, fertility specialist. Well, they offer you uh, IVF. But do they tell you that something that you can do at home? I said no. It's just simple. Like they only want you to rely on the treatment then you don't have to do anything when you suffer from a disease let's say PCOS you can't be lazy when I say you can't be lazy is you can't just go some way to ask for treatment and then you do nothing at home you see what I mean you have to do your own work you have to you have to do whatever you could to speed up the treatment results and to maintain the result as well does it make sense so if this is the case every way easy way yeah it is eh it is yeah it is easy way, right? So, so what? What's the difference? You know, what is the difference between us and those um, practitioners? We are very really different. We actually get our patient. We provide them a video and let them know how to change the diet. Why that's so important. We provide them a free uh, acupressure program that they can do at home and we encourage them to exercise. We literally ask our patient how often you exercise. You know, we encourage them to do this. And this is very, very important. Hmm. So, when they come to pregnant, um, so when patient conceive and uh, through our help, through our support, then we ask the patient to keep going to get acupuncture treatment weekly up to week 12. And over week 12, then we ask the patient after three months, come and get treatment once Monday every month because they are high risk of uh, uh, pregnancy uh, complication right so we want to prevent things happen so we ask patient to come once Monday after three months of weekly treatment some of them you may want to see patient more not because they have PCOS it's because if they have pain or nausea or uh, vomiting we see patient that who vomit throughout the pregnancy nausea or they have a lot of pain in the body throughout the pregnancy and therefore you want to see the patient more regularly okay We've seen this patient who had a lot of pain in body. Needle in, felt better. Needle up a few hours. The pain started again, fill up. And the needle, it gone down. Throughout the pregnancy. That's horrible, isn't it? And the vomit and nausea. But so acupuncture can help. It's caused by the hormone because the hormone change 
and they suffer from pain but there's no drugs for them there's none treatment for them but acupuncture is very good way for it okay that's it for today this is about pregnancy and PCOS okay tomorrow we're gonna talk about diet and lifestyle tips thank you for joining us today and thank you very much and stay awesome and I love you all I'll see you tomorrow morning see ya